Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I think uh, we don't know what the Leeds team is, and I'm sure Eddie's got something up his sleeve for me. But with him not playing, I think that takes a little bit away from their attacking abilities. But we can't play anywhere, any other way, John. So we will go at them, and we'll have a go at them, and then we'll just have to wait till 20 to 5 to see what the result is. A vibrant atmosphere then here in South Yorkshire as Barnsley in those familiar red shirts and white shorts kick off against Leeds in their change strip of all yellow. And it's Sheridan who gets the early touch back to John Lukic. The referee this afternoon is Neville Ashley from Nantwich. And I'm sure he's aware he's going to be pretty stern this afternoon. Derby game's always full of tension. Almost strange to see Leeds operating with uh, both Connor and Butterworth, who's in the action here again now, trying to get it under control. He's inside the penalty area. We were thought for a moment he was going to get brought down. And a few Barnsley hearts were in mouth then. I'm going to say it seems strange not to see Butterworth in the side. That's a good ball as well. Moreinsko picks it on with his heel. Brings it under control with half straight behind him. Barraclough's cross. Bit of a teaser. Cunningham will get in the header. Loops it over the crossbar, the best we've seen from Barnsley. Tony Cunningham's got a couple of goals since he was signed from Lincoln City, including one last week. Burns sends Hart forward, but not a good ball, straight to Joe Joyce. The Hart makes up for it, what a good interception that was by the lead centre half. Frankie Gray going for the return. Right to dig it through to Butterworth, it must be in for the first three. Clips the, I think it just clipped the outside of the post. No wonder. Graham getting back to do well. Wins the ball back to lead. The Graham defended well then. Connor kicks it inside for Thomas, racing down the right, he's got hurt. Leeds do have three men up on the edge of the penalty box now. Butterworth. Uh, so is Sherry to show his collar, but uh, Heard taking too hot. That's why right, the ball straight to Tony Cunningham. Not to play that by Heard, and it's left Barnes with five men streaking forward now. Barrett screaming for it on the right, gets it. Looks to take off Gray. Flips it across. There's the header. And what a fine goal that one is for Winston Campbell. No wonder they do that little stamper. And this is why Cunningham has led the break after that dreadful pass from Kevin Hurd. Played wide and Barraclough comes into it. Takes on Frankie Gray and quickly flips the ball across. And Campbell's here with his first goal of the season and one he'll remember. Luke his palm and can't keep it out. 1 0 to Barnsley. Uh, Winston Campbell for him, no doubt, that's his most memorable league goal. to the good, oh, it's right up the boot, Connor could get the equaliser, or do well to come from his line, well, that would have been a dramatic and a quick reply. Huge kick again by Lukic, which uh, really could catch them, Butterworth, and that came straight from Lukic's goal kick. 1-1 it is, Aidan Butterworth's sixth goal of the season, and a lot of the credit to John Lukic, the Leeds goalkeeper. Well, the point was made earlier in the commentary that Lukic has really been thinking about all his goal clearances. And it's an immense kick, this one. It goes looping high and long into the Barnsley penalty area. McCarthy's struggling to get back there. It drops over him. But give all credit to Butterworth as he dashes through and rounds it off in style. Gives away to Connor, Graham hits Butterworth again, back to Graham who whacks it in. The referee's already looked at his watch and we have moved over the 45 minute mark. Banks, 
to work himself away from Thomas and find Glavin. He's lost out to Burns. It's so hard and does well to get the ball through to Connor. Connor's only got Butterworth with him and it doesn't matter anyway. There goes the whistle. It's a good Yorkshire derby is this one here at Oakwell. Barnsley taking the lead with Winston Campbell's first goal of the season. A lovely header after a cross from Barraclough. But Leeds coming back to get the equaliser just five minutes before half time. It uh, came from centre forward Aiden Butterworth. Nice to see two young strikers scoring in this match. First of all, Campbell and then Butterworth. And there's John Lukic, and a lot of credit to him for that equaliser. Straight from his massive goal kick. Butterworth rounding on it, ducking it away to give us a half time score here. And Barnsley won. Leeds United. First half with some long runs, and now he's found it. Butterworth, excellent ball for Paul Hart. Butterworth, edge of the area, knocking it back for Arthur Graham. Will try the shot. Good save by Hart. Connor can still get there. And he was denied by McCarthy. Good save that from Bobby Hart, actually. Campbell might get a little touch there as Hart was coming in. Going to get a bit scrappy down there. Glavin's trying to bring some semblance of sense to it all. And another challenge by Burns is going to be penalised. He was saying there was a lot else he could do. The referee has been right on the spot. Chambers receiving from Banks. Down the line for Campbell. Tried to turn Cherry. Given away by Kevin Hurd. Campbell it was brought down. Leeds don't complain. Well, Campbell first of all tried to turn Trevor uh, Cherry and Kevin Hurd catches it coming in from behind. And no one on the lead side complained as referee actually pointed to the spot. So Barnsley, who went in front, have a chance to regain that lead. Glavin against Lukic. Ronnie Glavin has got ten goals this season. He's got four in the last three games, and six in the last six. 2-1, Lukic unlucky. He got both hands to the ball and couldn't keep it out. No wonder he looks in agony. Glavin knew which way he wanted to hit it all right. Stroked it hard, and Lukic getting both hands to the ball can't keep it out. It's ironic, actually, that Lukic has got his hands to both Barnsley goals. Still, it's Barnsley 2, Leeds 1. Campbell's making the run. And he'll get there, too. Burns left him. Campbell took it on. He's only got Cunningham inside the box. He's still going. Campbell cuts it back. Cunningham off the bar, as you saw. And Leeds escape. Well, it was considerably good play here. The ball threaded out to Campbell, who shows his speed in getting past Trevor Cherry. Cuts it back, and it's Cunningham's header, which thunders in and off the bar. The referee's already signalled to the linesman. He's looked at his watch, he's blowing his whistle. Barnsley have won the derby. It's Barnsley 2, Leeds United 1, a repeat of the scoreline here 27 years ago. One or two Barnsley fans coming onto the pitch to congratulate their side. And the teams in the end separated by a penalty which no one disputed. Coming just seven minutes into the second half when Kevin Hurd made the trip on Winston Campbell and Ronnie Glavin scored from the spot despite a valiant attempt by John Lukic to keep it out. That at the first half goals by Campbell for Barnsley and Butterworth for Leeds. A finally contested derby match here then at Oakwell. And the final score is Barnsley 2, Leeds United 1.